Welcome to the Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A, and this is the post fight recap of Jamel Miller defeating Duhapis. Hmm, what do we want to say of this? Let's break it down. First of all, for all you tuning in, give a thumbs up. What did this fight actually mean besides just a nice uh, comparison between Duhapis, I mean, uh, Miller, and Deontay Wilder? It was a, a stepping stone, a stepping stone for him to get that Joshua fight by the WBO. And with the performance he did, it's, it's a typical Jared Miller performance, you know, a lot of arm slapping shots mixed in with a couple uh, leverage thrown in. You know, it's nice and trying something. I like the bright look, so I'm, I'm going with a nice little bright look today, if you guys are wondering. Did this do anything for Jared Miller? He did what I thought he was going to do. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to go out there and knock Duhapis out. He overwhelmed him. His size got him. But he worked the body real well. But nothing out of the ordinary what we expected. Now, this does get Gerald Miller into... Let's see. If we go into the WBO rankings. Because he hit, he hit Duhapis with some good clean shots. But, like I said, what do Hoppus is known for is going 11 rounds with Deontay Wilder. So, going 11 rounds with Deontay Wilder, did you really think do Hoppus is going to get knocked out by uh, Gerald Miller? The only way that TKO was coming was a pure exhaustion type referee stoppage. You know, with, with the styles that Miller has and Wilder has, it wasn't going to happen. Now, Miller tried his best, you know, tried to make it a uh, theoretic theater antics, you know, shouting at him, come on, come on, you know, trying to make it because I think physically he knew it just, hey, I, 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 this guy is tough. He said at the end of the fight, this guy is tough. You know, I gave it, I gave it, I, I didn't think it was going to be that tough. You know, not saying it was a tough fight, it's just durable. That dude could take a fucking punch. He felt like maybe, okay, I'm going to do something Wilder couldn't do. He, he saw why it took Wilder 11 rounds. And that was a younger Duhapis that Wilder was fighting. So, you know, he, he put the antics on, he shouted at him, come on, come on. You know, in the, in the 11th round, was it a coincidence? You know, the same round that Deontay Wilder knocked him out in that Miller really put on some effort <laughs> and you can you can see around eight nine seven he needed that second win that second win kicked in he, you know he said he, he went back up from about 285 to 303 so that's a big boy and it makes you wonder he said he was he wasn't comfortable at 285 felt weak if he is getting this Joshua fight Makes you wonder if he wants to be a little heavier for that fight to, to kind of bully, put his weight on Joshua, kind of tire Joshua out. You know, I, I get a little more into Joshua because, you know, I, I made it very publicly that I think Gerald Miller could beat uh, Joshua. I think I made it said, I made a whole video saying that I think he's going to beat Joshua, he's going to upset him. Now, we go a little more into Duhapis. He arms Duhapis landed a good enough jabs. Now he showed that uh, Miller's defense is kind of like Miller just kind of just walks into you, throws his little weight with his shoulder on you, turns a punch with turns with the punches, you know. So you wonder, can he do that against jo Joshua? Okay. He he dominated Duhapis. So we could we could get over that fight. We turn into what I think of him and Joshua. Can he dominate? I mean, can he do that type of defense with Joshua? 
that that's what scares me, you know, because I was really high on he could beat he's he could beat Joshua. No, not that it was just cleanly. My my whole thing was he's that work rate. He was gonna make Joshua throw more punches than Joshua wants to. Make Joshua burn energy. Make Joshua move, burn energy. Putting that weight on Joshua, burn energy. He was gonna just get Joshua tired and just kind of like start throwing all those punches and. Accumulation of punches on a tired Joshua, I think, was going to get a referee stoppage. Like an 11th, 12th round. Now, seeing how Duhoppus was able to hit Miller with those, you know, turning the right, you know, he turns with them, but he was getting tagged pretty good. You know, and leaning in like that, uppercut Joshua. So it's like, I was like an 85% chance confident that Miller was going to beat Joshua if they fight on an upset. Seeing what Duhapis was doing against him and hitting him, the 85 dropped pretty pretty bad. It's like if, because he's getting hit because I, I don't think Miller could take those hits from Wilder. And Joshua hits damn hard as well, so like I said, I'm going with the exhaustion not that he's a better fighter or boxer. Now, can Joshua knock him out in seven? Probably. But just can he have the energy to do it? Because he's going to catch him. You know, I saw against the Hoppers. Miller is getting hit. His defense ain't as sharp. Now, maybe it's because he just kind of uh, didn't respect what was coming from the Hoppers. And maybe his defense would be a little tighter against Joshua, which I'm planning it will be. I don't think he's just going to be hands down trying to roll against Joshua. I think he'd be up there tight. But I'm saying it dropped from like 85%. I'm still thinking he's, he's going to beat Joshua on that. Like I said, you guys got to understand, he's not going to outbox Joshua. He's not going to be technical. I think I think Jared Miller has better feet than Joshua. I think he can move around the ring better. And then with that weight, I think he's just going to exhaust him just now, this is if he don't get knocked out like in seven rounds. If he makes it to like deep round waters, I think he's just going to exhaust Joshua and pull off an upset. A shocking, huge, freaking fucking upset. You know, it won't be points. He'll lose on points. It's going to be an exhaustion. Just a, a barrage of punches that the referee will... Not want to do, but will have to be done. Stop it, because Joshua's gonna be like tired, getting hit too many times. That's just what I see. But I think it dropped from like 85. I was real. Like I said, I, I had I would have put some money that Miller would put some. Nah, because I'm broke. But you know, you heard that talk. <laughs> I put the money on that uh, Joshua would have lost, but 85% confident. I'm going down to like. 55, 60 percent confident now. I got a lot. I think you know he he just getting hit a little too much for me, Miller. But he 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 completely dominated uh Duhapis in a Jared Miller fashion. You know, got a little more oomph in his punches, a lot of arm punches, but it's it's what we expect. The double RT boxing show breakdown and prediction of Fury, Saxon. Uh, Ali Mangula. It's coming up. Stay tuned in.